everyone, and welcome to how to format your PowerPoint to widescreen. So today I'm going to tell you why it's important that your presentation is in widescreen. And I'm going to show you how to do that so that you're confident that your presentation is going to look great even before you arrive at the event. So widescreen is ironically the new standard versus standard. Um, widescreen is also referred to as 16:9, which is the aspect ratio of, of the screen. So widescreen is becoming the new standard and that's a good thing because it provides a great viewing experience. 4.3 is more of a boxy look, which is a little bit old school, um, a little bit older monitors. And that still comes as the standard sometimes when you begin a presentation. And since widescreen is the new standard, and that's what we want to um, ensure everybody uses as their um, aspect ratio, that means that when we set up our projectors and projector screens, we set everything up in widescreen. So we want to ensure that you're also using your setting up your presentations in widescreen 16.9 so it looks great because if you bring a presentation with 4.3 and our screens are widescreen, it's going to look like this. We're going to have these ugly black bars on the side. So we tell all of our presenters to ensure that their presentations are on widescreen. So now I'll show you how to do that. So this is on Microsoft PowerPoint. So you're gonna scroll on up to File, click on that. Scroll down to Page Setup, and you're gonna click Page Setup. And then you'll see where it says Slides Sized 4. Right now we're in 4.3, which is not what we want, but that is the standard. So we're gonna change it here to 16.9. Once again, that's uh, the aspect ratio, that's widescreen. And then make sure you click OK. Boom, now we're in widescreen. So um, simple as that. If you're in Keynote, uh, once you begin a new presentation, it actually gives you the option at the top, standard or wide. Um, so if you're just beginning, make sure you click wide. But more likely than not, you've already begun. Might happen to be in standard, so we'll show you how to do that. In the top right, you'll see where it says document. You're gonna click on that little tab, and then you're gonna scroll down to slide size. You'll see right now it's in four or three. Just make sure that's on widescreen, 16, nine. Boom, simple as that. Now this one's done. Keynote is a little bit easier. So ideally, you've already done this before you even begin your presentation, but once again, more likely than not, you've already begun your presentation and this formatting thing is an afterthought which is fine, but sometimes you can get a little bit of distortion in your text and in your images. So you'll see right now, my slide looks okay. Once I change it to 16.9, what? Now my text doesn't line up, it's covered by the picture. And speaking of my picture, it looks like I've put on about 20 pounds. So I have, might have to do a little bit of adjusting. So once you do change the format of your PowerPoint, just it's a good idea to go through every slide and just make sure that the text is in the right place, that your pictures weren't too distorted. Um, you'll probably have more room on your slide, so you might be able to change the size of your text, um, little things like that. So just run through every slide really quickly, make sure it's good to go and um, everything is where it's supposed to be. If you have any questions, you can uh, reach out to me directly. Um, my email is andrew at liftedav.com. Thank you for watching um, and I look forward to supporting you at our next event. Stay lifted.